So this is a little bit lighter of a topic, um, but I appreciate all the information today, especially Luke, thank you. Luke and I are actually, we work together. And um, part of this initiative is actually because of the relationships that we've developed <clears throat> in Santa Barbara within the professional business community with people like Luke. In fact, Luke was there with these other two businesses, um, Playback Recording Studio and Pure Order. Oniracom is my business. And uh, kind of the four of us were standing around uh, at Pure Order. It's a brewery out in the Lagoon District, out on uh, Quarantina Street. And basically we decided that we're not the funk zone. And the funk zone kind of lost the funk. So let's brand our neighborhood um, as something different and differentiate ourselves. So um, I've, I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of various things, um, produced uh, festivals and events, um, done some speaking. Um, run a creative marketing agency, developed some technology, and done it all here in Santa Barbara for the last 15 years. This is the inspiration, the community, the town, Santa Barbara, and um, we absolutely love where we are. We're right there on the 700 block of East Haley Street, and so this initiative came together because uh, passion and love for the area, really. Um, Oniracom, that's our marketing agency. It means communicating dreams. Our slogan is solutions for dreamers. And our elephant there, uh, you know, elephants never forget, so never forget your dreams. Um, that is our, our ethos, and um, we've done a lot of work in music and entertainment, and, and now with brands and nonprofits and all over. Uh, so speaking of branding, this is our uh, Lagoon District brand uh, right here. This is a flyer that we started to pass around, and it was kind of an accidental soft launch. We just sort of started talking to businesses, everyone was buying in. And then the independent called us up and said, hey, we want to do an article on an Aircom. I said, great. And then they spun it into an article on the Lagoon District, and all of a sudden we were public. And we went, oh, whoops, okay. So um, now I'm here talking about it because people are asking. Uh, thank you for the invite. And um, so we have kind of the three tenets of, of the value that we're hoping to bring here, the first being energy, um, bringing more energy to the area. It's already happening with developments all over up and down the street. Um, second is commerce, um, a lot of business to business, uh, commerce and interactivity. Um, we're hoping eventually to open up uh, somewhat of a discount loyalty system for businesses within the area that can provide services for one another. Um, there, and then thirdly uh, is community. Uh, again, connecting people, um, having um, you know, maybe quarterly events, um, and really uh, just making this a fun, free experience for everybody. By the way, we're not the funk zone. Did I mention that? My timing's a little off. So where is the Lagoon District exactly? We're a few blocks outside of it. Um, we've set the boundary from Milpa Street to Anacapa Street and from Coda to Montecito. Um, there's a lot of really killer businesses, um, artist organizations, nonprofits, um, industry. Um, a lot of old um, uh, Hispanic roots are there as well and we are not um, there to do anything except recognize everyone. Um, so why the name Lagoon? So we found some awesome history by this guy, uh, Walker Tompkins, um, and in the 1860s there was actually a canal uh, from the ocean to Haley Street in between uh, Quarantina and Laguna, and it was all flooded, so hence Lagoon, Lagoon and District, and that's where it came from. Um, so really uh, we wanted to outline a, a few of the initial benefits uh, for our members, for our communities, um, and that is, you know, visibility, um, getting on social media, getting on event calendars, having their news and events uh, be accessible by people in the area. Um, and so far, we've signed up probably about four dozen businesses, and we're actively getting about five to ten more a week. Uh, this just launched uh, probably, I don't know, a month ago or so. So it's it's been good progress so far. Um, all the businesses in the area have been been very uh, very receptive. I personally love the area because it's a mix of residential, commercial, and industrial. We have retail, we have um, our landlord uh, calls himself a junk artist, so he's got all sorts of crazy mobile, mobiles and sculptures in our, in our area, and there's a lot of that uh, sort of energy and, and vibrance going on there. Um, and we really celebrate all of the different, um, the culture and the history of the area, the local businesses and industry, the beer and wine, the art and artisans, the food prep, service and dining, the music and music makers, the craftsmen and craftswomen, the dreamers and doers, and the future. Uh, that is the list 
uh, that we're celebrating and uh, excited about. So again, um, wanted to mention the independent article. We had a little bit of uh, pushback from a few uh, trolls. I think trolls was mentioned earlier by AJ. Thank you for the, throwing the term out. Um, but there's a few, few people that think that we're gentrifying the area, and I, I argue back that we're not developing these buildings. We're not moving uh, steel around. We're just adding a nice network to the thing. Um, another piece of uh, potential criticism is what about the Latino-run businesses and the culture that's been there? Very uh, uh, conscious, and you know the website's going to become bilingual very soon. Uh, we're going to be doing some fun historical pieces, starting with the La Tolteca uh, Taqueria there, and some other fun stuff like that. Um, once again, this is free. We're not in it for any sort of monetization. Um, it's all about community. And um, we're very open to ideas. This is not uh, one person's vision. This is intended to be crafted by the community. So we're open to ideas. We're open to um, you know, feedback from everyone. Um, and really, what's next for us? We're in the midst of planning our first block party. Uh, we're, we're figuring out a good uh, section of street to close down and, and feature all the beer and wine and food and services. Um, it's something that we've done at our location on Haley Street, and we really enjoy doing event production and promotion. So uh, if anyone wants to get involved, there's some social media um, or whatever to follow there. And we even have a hashtag that may hopefully, I don't know if that's going to go away. We'll see. Hashtag Goonie. Um, probably will go away. But yeah, feel free to reach out. There's my contact info, and I'd love to hear uh, from anyone who's interested. Thank you, guys.